In the beginning of the course, we had looked at how we can save JSON data uh, within an external resource. Uh, so myjson.com allows me to create JSON information. So I'm going to just update uh, some of the information that I've passed through there. So create new JSON. And copy this over, paste it through, and I'm going to update some of this. And I make myself 15. Uh, I'm not going to update any of this info. Maybe I'll update New York to New City or something like that. So that just so that we do get some additional information. Uh, so one of the things to be careful of when you're doing cross browser uh, requests, make sure that you've got your cores enabled. Uh, so cores is cross uh, browser refer. Uh, referencing service, I believe, or request service. Uh, so make sure that you're, uh, it's enabled when you are trying to access uh, external files on your server. So now I've updated that and now I can actually create that JSON file. So you're probably wondering, well, what happens if I take this URL, when I go over to the URL, I output it, I've got this type of output here. Um, so what happens if I try to bring that information into my local host? Uh, so all I would have to do, do you think this is all I have to do? That just enter in that new URL and of course look at our Ajax, so we're doing get. Uh, so this is just simply reading whatever that output is at this location. Uh, all we did is just updated the URL to the new bin. So do you think that this is going to work? Do you think I'm going to have some issues, uh, any errors? or anything like that that's going to show up. Uh, so I'm going to refresh it and what do you think is going to happen? Do you think this is going to work seamlessly or am I going to or did I miss something that I needed to update? And if you said it's going to work seamlessly, you're correct. So notice that there was a little bit of a lag there loading the JSON file. Uh, so when we initially refreshed it, uh, you might have thought that if you said it's not going to work, you might have thought that you're correct, but no, it does work. Uh, it's just that it's accessing this external data and it needs to load that data in in order to be able to output it on the page. So that's why there's that little bit of a lag time there. Uh, sometimes you'll um, web developers will put that spinner there uh, whenever we're requesting data and it does take some time. Uh, so we might replace the content here with a spinning image. Uh, just so that the user doesn't get confused at actually what's happening and when that information is getting populated. So everything works the same way and now we're actually accessing this online bin and getting the data from that online bin. So that's how you access external files and again remember that if you're having some issues uh, make sure uh, look into course and make sure that your course is enabled and you do have the ability to do cross browser uh, data transfer essentially or cross domain I should say